Hello Sodbusters! Today is honey harvest day. This is kind of a trial harvest for us. This is our first time harvesting honey. Today we're going to pull a minimum amount of frames, just the excess frames from hives that can spare it right now. I know that from the conversion hive we have about six Langstroth frames that can be harvested. And the bees have a lot of honey stored up on the Layens frames, so I am not concerned, especially with the fall nectar flow coming up, that they will be prepared for winter. And I'm going to be looking at a couple of the other hives, and hopefully we can pull about three Layens frames to have enough to balance out the extractor. So let's get into it and see what we have. So I just did an inspection on this hive and saw that they have a substantial amount of honey stored up on these Langstroth frames. In addition, they also have about four of the Layens frames completely filled with honey. Not to mention, the honey that they have stored up on the brood frames. So they are in good shape just on the Layens frames, so I am not concerned about pulling the honey from these Langstroth frames. Now this frame is not completely capped on this side, but it also doesn't seem to have a lot of nectar in these empty cells. They are pretty dry, so we could go ahead and spin this out we're not going to get a lot of nectar with uh, high moisture content. On this side, it's almost completely capped. And there are some empty cells down there at the bottom. I'm going to look real carefully because I do want to be sure. I don't want to get nectar that hasn't yet been dry. There's a little bit in there. I don't think enough to really be a concern. I'm going to ponder on that one and just set it aside for just a second. Now there we've got capped all the way across, a little bit down the corner. Those look like they're just dry cells. So we're good on that one. This one's pretty full, but only about 50% capped, so I'm going to leave that one. We're looking better, but still a lot of uncapped nectar there. Yeah, now we're getting into some bee bread, and this next frame has some brood on it. They may not have a full Layens frame of honey this time. We may just have to wait until the fall. Now of these frames that aren't fully capped but still have wet nectar in them, I could spin out that wet nectar and then uncap the honey and spin that out and separate that high moisture content nectar from the low moisture content honey. But I think rather than go through all of that right now, uh, we've got those six Langstroth frames. I We'll probably just extract from those so we get the extraction experience and leave these frames in place to let the bees continue building. In fact, this first frame that I pulled out is just foundation that they have just barely built out on. I may pull that one out for now so that rather than being encouraged to build comb on this frame, they will store up more nectar and dry honey in the frames that they have. And then we may have a larger harvest in the fall. The second to last frame is just oh, maybe not quite two-thirds built out and the frame next to it isn't built out too much more so they still have plenty of space to build even if I pull out this frame. While I'm in here I'll go ahead and check on 
uh, the bees in hive three and see how they're doing. They have fewer frames, so maybe they can use this. Pretty good frame of honey that they're still working on. There were a bunch of hive beetles in here, but it looks like they're keeping them pretty well corralled to one end. Pretty nice frame there. Now they do have some brood down at the bottom. And with fewer frames, uh, not surprised to see their brood chamber starting this early, but kind of funny that they have it hanging down at the bottom like that. Because of the number of hive beetles I saw in here, I'm not going to add any more space. And they have space to build on this last frame anyway. So no candidate frames for extraction here. I'll give a check on the green hive and see how they're doing. But we may just end up extracting our Langstroth frames today. These first three frames are not fully built out. But what they have built out, they're storing and capping honey. Looks like we had a little bit of a comb collapse here. But it doesn't look like it's too much of a mess right now. Maybe it was earlier. So it's kind of interesting there. I'll clean up a little bit of this wonky comb at the bottom, but otherwise it looks like they're doing all right. Now it looks like there might have been a comb collapse and they kind of rebuilt there. And now we're into brood. And look at the amount of brood on there. That's pretty awesome. Not so much on the other side. But that's kind of the start of our brood frames there. So it looks like we don't have any full honey frames in this hive. They are storing up honey and they are kind of rebuilding after that comb collapse. So we'll leave them to that and hope for a good harvest in the fall. So we checked the strongest hives for honey and haven't found any full frames of honey and that's all right we see that they're storing up they're building and i'm still optimistic for the fall but for now we have those six langstroth frames to harvest so this is our little honey house setup for doing the extraction uh, we don't really have a place inside or space in the garage right now to do this so we have this little tent uh, i do know that because of the smell of honey this is probably going to attract some bees, but hopefully the tent will be enough to kind of keep them away from us while we're extracting. So we have our decapping tub here, uh, which I purchased from Better Bee. So it's basically a tub. They sent the tub with the hole drilled out. They included the honey gate. Um, they use the screen at the bottom. This is actually a metal queen excluder that is bent. To fit in the bottom they they bent it and sent it like that to use as a screen to catch the cappings and then we have this crossbar to rest the frames on while they're being decapped we have our frames here uh, five frames in this nucleus box and then the one frame gives us six frames which works out because the extractor holds three we got our little decapping tools um, this one purchased off Amazon this one came with some other beekeeping stuff that I purchased we have our honey buckets food grade buckets that were drilled and had honey gates added to them and one of them is underneath of the extractor this is an SAF regatta extractor with a basket for lay-ins frames which will also hold three Langstroth deep frames or six shallow frames I believe it may hold six mediums, but uh, not sure about that. And uh, it's tall enough we can fit our honey bucket underneath with our screens there to catch any little bits of wax and stuff. And then we have our table over here for bottling. Uh, not sure if we're going to be bottling today or letting the bubbles settle out and then bottle tomorrow. But uh, we're set up for it. If the honey looks clear enough, we'll go ahead and put it in jars and have that step done with. So that's our little setup here, and uh, we'll get to it and see how everything goes. Because this was our first honey harvest, we started out working slowly and carefully until we got a feel for the uncapping tools. 
Instead of a decapping knife, I got this wooden handle scraper that was recommended by the Honeystead, and it seemed to do a pretty good job. We did find that the smaller red handled scraper worked well in spaces where the comb was more irregular. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my B channel. It's all us actually. The man you've seen in the videos was a, a puppet. They may be smart Alex, but they make a pretty good decapping team, so I guess I'll keep them. Once they had three frames uncapped, exposing the honey underneath the wax cappings, we were able to load them into the extractor, which spins like a centrifuge to throw the honey out. Our extractor is manual, so it requires a person to turn the crank, and we had some debates about the proper speed to run it at, but overall it seemed to work fine. We got the honey out, and all the frames were intact in the end. In the future, I'll mount this extractor to a pallet, and weighed it down with some bricks because we did find that we had to have somebody hold it down to keep it from shaking and walking around as it was spinning. After the time spent tending the hives and all the planning and preparation, it was extremely satisfying to see the honey flowing out of the extractor. It flows through these screens to filter out all of the bits of wax and bee parts and other particles but the screens aren't so fine that they prevent the beneficial pollen from coming through. After we were done extracting, I set out the equipment, which was covered in honey, for the bees to clean up. They can take that leftover honey and put it to good use in the hives, and it makes it a lot easier to clean up the equipment afterwards once they've cleaned off the bulk of that honey. We did leave the honey in the bucket for a day so that a lot of the initial bubbles would rise to the top and then the next day in our kitchen we put the honey into bottles. Being new to this every step along the way was a huge milestone and it was really exciting to see that clear golden honey going into the jars. We filled 23 one pound jars, and then once we put our labels on the jars, we had our finished product. By noon the next day, our entire harvest was sold. I started keeping bees for the benefit of having pollinators for the garden. Getting honey was not the primary reason. However, it is very satisfying to be able to harvest your own honey. And I will tell you, even though the 23 pounds of honey that we put into jars was all sold, I did keep some. For our family. So this has been a really satisfying experience for me and I hope that you found it interesting and beneficial. If you're a new beekeeper looking forward to your own harvests, I hope this is encouraging and informative for you. The way we harvested honey is just one way of doing it. You don't necessarily have to put the money out for an extractor and all the stuff that we used. You can do it in more basic ways. This is just the way that we did it. So I do hope that if you're keeping bees, whatever way you harvest honey, that it goes well for you and that you find it just as satisfying as I did. If you've enjoyed this video, I appreciate if you give it a like. And you might also enjoy this other video that Google has selected especially for you. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.